Hello everyone. In this video, we'll try to understand what is data analytics, where do we use data analytics, different types of data analytics, and the tools used in data analytics. Right? So what are you waiting for? So let's get started with what is data analytics. Okay. So the process of understanding the data in order to get some meaningful information right i'm repeating myself again the process of understanding the data in order to get some meaningful information right it's called data analytics maybe if you ask me to make it simple how can i understand the given data right to get some meaningful information out of it right let's say if i have a business obviously i'll have some data right in simple if i want to understand my business so i need to understand the data right so the data analytics is the process of understanding the data in order to understand your business right so that's called data analytics so by now hope you know you might have understood what is data analytics and maybe with the help of the definition you could also understood why we need data analytics right so now we'll we'll take one example so that you know you guys will understand why we really need the data analytics right so let's say i own a business so i own a a big retail business where I have different branches in different locations. So obviously my end goal is I want to make my customer satisfy, right? Obviously if my customer is satisfied, then only he'll come, come to me again, right? At, at, at the same time, of course, revenue is that most important for any business, right? So now, obviously, right? So to understand, to make sure my, my customer is happy, to understand if my customer is really happy or not. So I have few questions, obviously. So the which branch is doing good, which products are and product categories are selling fast, right? Understanding my customer preference, like the male versus gender, right? Uh, maybe working versus non-working professional, different, different things, right? So <clears throat> at the same time, right? So which are the particular days where you know most of the items are selling most of the customers are visiting my you know the retail shops like you know weekdays versus weekends versus holidays versus etc etc right so if i'm able to get answer for all these questions then obviously right so i'll be able to make my customer happy let's say if i if i come to know which product is moving fast which means if there's a particular product which is moving fast, my customers are more interested in that particular product or product category, right? So that I'll make sure that it never go out of stock, right? And let's say there's such particular products which are not at all selling fast. It's not at all selling. So I'll make sure, right? So I don't, I don't, you know, uh, get those products, buy, buy those products from, from the wholesale shop, right? So that, you know, I'll case, I can save some money, right? And if I understand, okay, my customers are mostly, mostly coming on weekends, so that you know i'll make sure i'll increase the staff right i'll increase the billing contest so that you know my customers will be happy obviously right no one no one likes to wait <laughs> in a long queue right so if i understand all these things obviously i can make my customer happy and at the end i'll get some good amount right to understand all these questions all these problems first i need a data right and that's where the data analytics comes into place i have a data now I, I need to I need an answers for all these questions which we just talked about. If I know the answers for all these questions, then I can make my customer happy. Obviously, I'll get some amount. I mean, I can I can generate some revenue, right? And that is the why data analytics are core or are hardcore for any business, right? So in my if you ask me, is it is data analytics really important? I said yes. Every business need a data analytics. Yeah. Now we'll try to understand the different types of data analytics. So there are four different types of data analytics. The very first one is diagnostic analytics, which is the first part of any data analysis. So what diagnostic analysis says is what happened. For example, if I want to know, you know uh, how many products are sold out, which products are selling fast, sell, sold fast, right? So happened, right? So so whatever happened so if i want to know whatever happened and what is happening now and we use descriptive analysis so descriptive anal analytics talks about what happened and what is happening currently right and the second one is diagnostic analytics so what descriptive analysis says what happened right what diagnostic analysis says why it happened 
right so diagnostic analysis will support the descriptive analytics right so as i told you descriptive analysis will say you why it happened for example which products are selling fast right and and diagnostic analysis says why this particular product is selling fast or maybe a descriptive analysis says this particular branch is doing good and this particular x branch is not doing good so diagnostic analysis says why this particular branch is doing good and why this particular branch is not doing good right so that is called the diagnostic analytics right and the third important thing is predictive analytics okay my descriptive analytics says what happened and maximum what is happening now right my diagnostic analytics says why it is happening but what is hap going to happen tomorrow that's called predictive analytics so predictive analytics will say which product might be selling fast next week right which product category will have high highest demand which branch will be generating you know the good revenue or bad revenue all these things are predictive analytics and the, and the fourth type of data analytics is prescriptive analytics right the first one is descriptive why it happened right the second one is diagnostic analytics what is the reason why it happened right and the third one is predictive analytics what is going to happen and the fourth one is prescriptive analytics so now based on the outcome from the first three three analytics three types of analytics like uh, descriptive diagnostic and predictive analytics so so i will we'll get some understanding from this three different and uh, types of analytics right so what should i do based on the outcome let's say if my predictive analytics says this particular branch will be we may not do good maybe you'll get less revenue what should i do right what should i do to make sure that i'll get good revenue right and maybe your predictive analytics says this product particular product category may not sell good what should i do in order to make it sell fast right so this is more of this fourth type of analytics right prescriptive analytics is more of decision making right it's a business people so being in being in data analytics what what i'll do is i'll do descriptive analytics diagnostic analytics and i'll do predictive analytics i'll take the outcome of all these three types of data analytics and i'll give it to my business team so now they will take the business decision based on this three different types of data analytics outcome they will take care they will take what decision we should make right in order to make sure our our business growth is smooth for example in case of retail business right so these are the four different types of data analytics now we'll try to understand what are the tools required for data analytics the very first tool trust me you may feel it is outdated but the very first tool is excel excel is still creating wonders in the market despite having many best tools in the market excel is still doing best in the market of course there are some limitations if you have maybe 1 million records then maybe excel might not be a right option but yes excel still stands in the market in terms of data analytics and the second the very very important is database we know most of the data are residing in the database right so if i want to understand the data as we just discussed most of the data is in database you should know the database right you should learn sql in fact any database like mysql postgres oracle ibm database sql server right so the data can be in any database and at the end goal is if you really want to understand the data one of the top skill set is database right so obviously if you want to analyze the data which is there in the database you should know sql structured query language right so sql is one of the important skill set for data analytics and the third thing is python r r so these are the two different programming language python r so you should be good at one of the programming language for sure right because most of the of course database won't support any statistical techniques or you know uh, the predictive modeling so obviously you may do the descriptive analytics in, in 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 database but when you go for diagnostic analytics and you know predictive analytics you need either python or r right and the fourth one is a visualization because i cannot simply write down the numbers and cannot explain hey you know uh, boss uh, uh, what do you call uh, for this branch this is the number it may not look good right so if the same thing if i'm able to visualize it 
the look and feel right so visualization is mainly for look and feel and it's obviously easy to understand right so definitely visualization is one of the important tool or skill set for data analytics and the fifth one maybe yeah fifth one is different statistical techniques and the machine learning model obviously when you talk about the predicting predictive data analytics we we are predicting the future obviously we need machine learning all right and when you talk about diagnostic analytics so it says what behind why right so why my descriptive analytics saying this right so here we'll use different statistical techniques like you know uh, hypothesis testing correlation distributions what not so to support diagnostic analytics and predictive analytics we need statistics and machine learning so these are one of the core skills out of data analytics In the last but not least big data right so you may ask me hey why i need big data of course if your data is huge humongous terabytes how can i use the standalone python and r even the database is so expensive i cannot store such a huge amount of data in my databases right so obviously big data is one of the important skill set for data analytics so again big data is broadly divided in two categories one is etl which is a typical data engineering and we can also do uh, uh, data analytics which is called big data analytics so please don't ignore uh, the one of the important skill set of big data because um, in the market and you know uh, in the linkedin comments here and there i'm saying i'm not a full stack developer why should i learn big data yes you have to learn the big data if you want to really deal with the humongous amount of data right so hope uh, you enjoyed this video and hope this video definitely help you to understand the power of you know the data analytics in the market so the last but not least very important thing is please don't forget to subscribe to my channel thank you